Now, first responders say that there are tools available to get patients the care that they need without overwhelming the hospitals. News 10 ABC's Connell Smith has more details. When a call comes in and an ambulance goes out, sometimes the paramedics are responding to someone's worst day. But many times they're not, and a trip to the hospital might not be necessary, which is where telehealth has come into play. It is the, the next wave of our industry for sure, um, being able to provide true community paramedicine to our patients, keep them at home if that's what's best for them, and still have those interactions with the physician. The Valacia Rescue Squad has used telehealth since September of last year. Over the course of a year, they've had 37 calls where it was used. Out of those 37, 70% uh, of, the, of the patient contacts we've been able to actually keep at home with their families and and, uh, and provide them you know the best care that we can. When an EMT or paramedic arrives, they'll first assess the situation before connecting with a doctor if needed through Zoom or a phone call, cutting down on times a unit is out of service and how long a patient would have to wait to see a physician at a hospital. With many hospitals facing staffing problems, ambulances are being diverted from one to the next, creating much longer wait times for emergency and non-emergency calls. It's an issue for sure. Our wait times have increased dramatically. We've had uh, our agency has seen as long as six and a half hours um, uh, regularly. It's it's a half hour, 40 minutes, an hour. A similar telehealth initiative has been adopted by Albany County for their 911 calls. In Columbia County, Connell Smith, News 10.